All right, hello, wine drinking people. We're back. It's Wednesday, June 2nd. That's right. We still got a little room for our Aussie tasting tonight at Cafe Max. And we've got a little room Friday night, Australian Wine Week here at the Wine Watch. At our vintage Aussie tasting, 10 wines, 10 years or older here in the store with Tony cooking the vittles. That's Friday night. And now for what I drank yesterday. That's right, folks. It was a little slow in the store. I think uh, maybe the suppliers were recovering from a long holiday weekend. But uh, thank God the consigliere stopped in. We needed something to drink at uh, 1.30, 2 o'clock. And uh, opened up a nice bottle of Puri Estate Pinot Noir from Tasmania. The perfect choice for a nice light red in the middle of the day. Light cherry fruit, soft tannins, bright fresh acidity, just a little hint of spice. A very nice wine. We've had a lot of success selling these wines from Tasmania from Piri Estate, one of the top small producers from this southernmost wine producing region in the southern hemisphere. Um, <clears throat> okay, we did have a few suppliers in the store also. Uh, the first one was... Um, well, we had um, Talon from Selected Brands. Jay, don't get worried, buddy. He's not trying to step in on your territory and take over your account or anything. He just happened to have a supplier in the area, so he figured he'd stop in and show them the best wine store in Broward County. So uh, he had a couple of interesting things. The St. Innocent Pinot Gris, which was a very nice Pinot Gris, more along the lines of an Alsatian wine. Oh, can we say Alsatian? No, that's a dog. A wine from Alsace. And uh, really rich and concentrated and wonderful, refreshing acidity on the finish and nice minty notes as well. Uh, really excellent Pinot Gris, one of the better ones that I've had from the Willamette, damn it. And, uh, and then some interesting uh, average wines from the Vin de Pays, some Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, and then a little Bordeaux Superior. Uh, we had to make it through all that to get to the Jacques Wisson Cuvée 733, a drier style of Brut Champagne, uh, very nice, had this kind of exotic floor note to it that you get in sherry, white flowers, uh, very nice, a little hint of ginger spice on the finish, and like I said, a drier style, very refreshing, really nice. I love the Jacques Wisson Cuvée 733. Most of this wine's from the 2005 vintage, and uh, they do um, let you know what batch it's from with that Cuvée. The 734 is next, and that will be mostly from the 2006 vintage. Okay, next up, we had a visit from one of the Fisher family. Cameron Fisher was in town for a wine dinner that we had going on at the Grateful Palates, and uh, hopefully things went well with you guys last night at that dinner, and the wine's exceptional once again. You know, I'm lucky enough to get to taste these wines on a regular basis. Usually someone from the Fisher family is in the market, and uh, the, the 2007 Mountain Estate Chardonnay, outstanding, one of the best Chardonnays that I've had. Some lovely tropical fruit on the nose, lemon drop candy, fresh butter toast, uh, great underlying minerality with this wine, great concentration, uh, wonderful work in the vineyard here, and uh, light creamy texture on the tongue with some nice vanilla spice notes and wonderful freshments, fresh acidity, uh, just the right touch of toasty oak. We have the 06 here in the store, which is also outstanding. The 07 is now at the distributor. Okay, and then Cameron, the wine named after our hostess uh, this afternoon. Uh, a really nice wine, a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Malbec. A classic Bordeaux-style blend from Mountain Vin from a vineyard on the Silverado Trail in Calistoga. Um, this is, uh, uh, the, well, the Lamb Vineyard is one of the vineyards that they draw from. That is right next to the Isley Vineyard, um, one of the top Cabernet vineyards in all of Napa Valley. And the Coach Insignia uh, Cabernet Sauvignon was up next here, the 2005. Both of these wines from 2005. We're not seeing too much 05 vintage Napa wine still in the market. This is a great vintage for Napa. I'm sure the 06s are right behind these, but the Coach Insignia, as always, excellent. Maybe a step up in complexity from the Cameron wine. And then we had the Unity wine. This is a new wine from Fisher Vineyards where they are buying some fruit in addition to using their estate vineyards. This wine, very nice from a great vintage in Napa, the 2007 vintage. Thank you very much, Cameron Fisher, for stopping by. Check out all these wines from Fisher Vineyards that are on the email from today. All right, that's all I've got for Fisher Vineyards. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasone, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.